Hey! It's, uh... Is it that time of the week already? Okay, let's do this. Hello, tiny plant explorers. You know what? I'm gonna level with you. I had this whole other idea planned for this week's video, and you know what? I just got myself in this weird, happy mood, and I don't really want to do that video anymore. I want to do a different video. So I threw that plan out, I made a new plan. Is this. This is the plan. It says, just say stuff. St stuff? Stuff? Just say stuff? It's, it's, a, it's a question. Why is it a question, and why have I spelt stuff wrong? <laughs> it appears in my haste that this is not a plan at all. It's just words. <laughs> okay, so if it wasn't clear enough already, I have no plan for this video. I'm just gonna say stuff. So who knows what could happen? I could I could break something. M my, I could say crazy things. My eyes could explode. You know, anything is possible. Okay? <laughs> All right, Jesus Christ, this is why I plan things. <laughs> So believe it or not, but today's video has a running theme. Guess the theme and you'll win a satchel of assorted marbles. I guess we're doing that. But don't just skip to the end because I'll know. Trust me, I'll know. So if you're an avid tiny plant explorer and you follow me on all the social medias, then you may be kind of aware of what I'm up to at the minute. But for those of you who don't know or are just like, yeah, I watch his videos sometimes, but he's a little bit weird, so I wouldn't call myself a tiny planet explorer, whatever that is. Then let me fill you in a little bit without doing karate, preferably. <laughs> Shit karate. <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> So I'm currently sandwiched in between developing two two large projects. They're full length serieses. Serieses? Hey Siri, is it serieses or ser series? Ser series? 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 Oh fuck it, no. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, it's probably for the best. I'm working on a lot of stuff, essentially. The way I see it is that when my side channel goes quiet and I'm making videos like this, that that means I'm generally using all of my brain power elsewhere. But that is to create something cool that you will all know about very soon. It's all very exciting. Me and the Kick the PJ squad, we've written an entire series and we're getting ready to pitch another one. So, it's all good. So cool. So cool. I like it. If we may, please, let's just go back in time for a second. If you play that in reverse, it's gonna be, ooh, it's gonna be magical. Just trust me, we're gonna have to have a bit of a trust thing going on here if this is ever gonna work. Tiny Plant Explorers. I say it a lot, I start my videos by addressing people watching this as Tiny Plant Explorers. If you ever wonder what the origins of the name is, it spawned from a film I made in 2012 called PJ Tiny Planet Explorer, which is a film about me venturing into space and trying to find another planet to live on, but the realization that everything sucks dawns on me and that's kind of it. <laughs> uh, it won an award, actually. This bad boy. It won the 2012 Virgin Media Shorts People's Choice Award. Check it out, PJ Tiny Plant Explorer. It's pretty cool. It's pretty weighty. Seriously, this has got some weight to it. You could, you could bludgeon a burglar with this. Not that you'd want to, of course, because murder is wrong. Also, I don't know how well blood comes off of this. So, that was a joke, by the way. That was just a, that was a little goof. Don't... If you ever come over to my little nook of the internet, nothing is to be taken seriously. Don't worry. We're storytellers here. We imagine the unimaginable. Damn, that sounds pretentious. One in on my gravestone. Okay, next, let's talk about Zelda. We have to talk about Zelda. The new Zelda. In fact, <gasps> would you look at that? It's the Switch. So Nintendo very kindly sent me a Switch and a copy of Zelda and... I just, I feel they have to talk about this. See, Zelda so far has taken about 55 hours of my life over the past few days. I don't even know if the, the maths adds up. I don't think there's enough hours in the day. I've played a lot of Zelda. I totally love it. it. It's making me feel like a little kid again. I don't even think reviewing it would do it justice. I would just say go play it. It might not be for everybody, but it is definitely for me. And ooh, ooh, I love it. I love it so much. It's weird, I didn't feel any Switch hype, I didn't feel any Zelda hype, because I only ever watched one trailer, I didn't read anything about it, I wanted to avoid as much as possible so I could just be surprised. And so it got to a day before it was about to arrive, and I suddenly started feeling the hype. I suddenly started thinking, holy shit, Zelda's coming, it's on its way. I've been waiting four years for this. And it made me think, the last time I was genuinely this excited was when I was eight years old, 
and it was the night before Easter, and I knew that I was getting Mario Kart 64 as a little Easter gift, and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't sleep, because all I was thinking about was, it's gonna be so amazing, there's all these tracks, and you can play as, like, a million different characters. I think there was only like eight characters to choose from, but when you're a kid, that feels like a million. So that's why I think it's making me feel like a kid again, because I'm just constantly filled with that nostalgic excitement. Mm. Thanks, Nintendo. Appreciate you. What else have I been spending my limited fleeting brain power on? Oh, I've been thinking of names for seafood restaurants, if I ever choose to open one. I have actually been writing them down for some reason. Okay, we've got Netflix and Krill, classic. I'm gonna Krill you, the contraceptive Krill. Let me Krill you in. Jack and Krill went up the hill to fetch a pail of fish. Krill you marry me. I imagine that would be a hot spot for proposals. <laughs> it's Krill or be Krilled. <laughs> of course it is. Amazing Krill, I haven't ran this past Phil Lester yet, but I'm hoping that he'll collaborate on that with me. And then I repeat, this is not a Krill. So just <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Krill, themed names. Uh, we will serve other seafood, not just krill. So, I mean, just let that alone kind of paint a picture for what my, my mind has been like recently. I know I said that I spent like 55 hours on Zelda, but that time is just filling in the gaps of my free time in between pouring my creativity into these projects that I'm developing. So my brain box is running a little bit low at the minute. In fact, just the other day, I experienced mirror lag for the first time. I don't know if I need to update my brain or the mirror or what, but it was pretty serious business. Bam. I've also been thinking about aliens recently, and I was starting to suffocate myself in this weird bubble of an idea that, it's not really an idea, it's more just the thought that there is absolutely no way that we are the top tier beings of the universe. There's just no way. There has to be other life forms somewhere in the universe, okay? Hear me out. I'm probably starting to sound a little bit crazy now, but just hear me out. You know how we look at something like an ant and we're like, look at that tiny little insignificant ant carrying a pebble on its back, getting on with its day, thinking he's all that. It just makes me think, what are the chances of some kind of being looking at us with their super advanced technology thinking, look at all those insignificant humans thinking they're functioning properly. Oh, it's adorable. If only they had the advanced brain power that we had. We are the ants, okay? We are the ants. All right, someone get me a foil hat. This is getting a little bit... I just kind of want to fast forward time to summer because the weather right now su -su -su sucks. I realize this is the most British thing that I'm ever going to talk about, but the weather in England right now, and most of the time, sucks. It is not longboarding weather. I just want to go cruising around Brighton with the wind in my hair and the sun beating down on my bod. I'm afraid that I'm going to forget how. Nah, still got it. Okay, I didn't forget. That's all good. Scrap that then. We're good for now. I just had a weird shower thought, and I'm not in the shower. Do places that have perfectly consistent weather have weather forecast people? That's such an uninteresting thought to have. Why am I wasting my brain power on that? You know what? I think that's probably a good place to end this video. I hope you enjoyed my mad ramblings about aliens and weather and Zelda. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more of my videos. And of course, to stay tuned for when I'm going to be announcing these projects that I'm developing. It's all very exciting. It's all cool. That was it. It's all cool. And of course, did you guess what the theme of the video was? Did you guess? There was no theme. This was themeless. And if you've just skipped to this point to cheat your way to winning an assorted bag of marbles, then... I can't even look at you the same anymore. You should be ashamed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. <laughs>